Now that we have a nice sturdy base in our basket with our floral round and also our floral block that's been glued in and secured, we're ready to start building our bountiful basket. Because I've chosen this little lady as my focal point, I'm going to put her in the center and I'm going to center her also on the block. So she's right there where she should be. And I'm going to use a little bit of glue and glue her down on the floral block. This is, the, this is not a completely secure way to put her in here because it can, she can be ripped off, but as long as no one picks her up or picks the basket up by her, that glue will hold. Now, of course, you can still see the base, but we're going to take care of that in a minute. I'm going to want to put some of these pieces of vegetable in here, but they're going to fall down in the basket. I'm not going to be able to see them. So I'm going to fill the basket with crumpled up newspaper. So I'm going to put this into the basket. I'm going to fill in the spaces, pushing it down so that they're my vegetables will go down in a little bit, but not all the way. When I'm finished, the newspaper will be covered up, so it won't show. But my vegetables still will show. So now I have a space for my vegetables, but they're not going to disappear on me. I'm just going to put a few vegetables around, kind of play with where I like them. Maybe let some of them drape over the edge a little bit. Try to keep like colors separated. Put a variety in here. I don't want to cover up and completely hide the base of my little figurine here, but I also don't want, and I also don't want to overwhelm her with too much vegetables that are too big. So I put in about what I think I like, and then I'm going to put in some picks. First, I'm going to put in some picks with some more vegetables, and I want her to be my focal point. So this, perhaps I might put a few picks behind her that are taller than her that still will not distract from her being the focal point. Some of them are going to go in at quite an angle, and if they're too tall, I'll just simply break off my bamboo shoot and push them down in a little farther. Just for to add a little spice to my centerpiece, I'm going to put in some of the sparkly fruit as well. So once I have established the fruit that I want in here in the way that I want it, I'm ready to look at it and see, is this how I want my basket to look? Would this be a good finished product? Do I have a nice balance? Is my focal point still my focal point, and do I have a bit of a triangular shape? I'm not sure this is a good... There, I think I like that a little bit better. So, now I have put my fruits in here, and I'm ready to cover up and hide my newspaper and my foam block. And that's how I would fill my bountiful basket.